Welcome to Georgia, a country in the Caucasus region that is known as Europe's poorest country. But don't let that fool you. Georgia is rich in culture and traditions, with some of the friendliest people you'll ever meet. In this video, we'll cover 63 fascinating facts revealing the soul of Georgia, a country of national pride, strange food, unusual rituals, hidden jewels, and taboos. So buckle up and let's begin this exciting exploration. 1. Nestled between the Greater Caucasus Mountains to the north and the Lesser Caucasus Mountains to the south, Georgia is a transcontinental country at the intersection of Eastern Europe and West Asia. It is part of the Caucasus region, bounded by the Black Sea to the west, Russia to the north and northeast, Turkey to the southwest, Armenia to the south, and Azerbaijan to the southeast. 2. Shikara is the highest point in the country of Georgia. It is located near the Russian-Georgian border in Russia's kabardino balkaria region on the northern side and the Svaneti region of Georgia in the south. It is 5,193 meters high. 3. In Georgia, 17.5% of the population lives below the national poverty line in 2021. In Georgia, the proportion of the employed population below $1.90 purchasing power parity a day in 2022 is 2.4%. For every thousand babies born in Georgia, around nine die before their fifth birthday. 4. Vashlavani National Park is a diverse wilderness that spans from desert-like terrain to lush forests. It's located in the southeastern part of Georgia. The national park contains a collection of species unique in Eurasia and is home to the Caucasian leopard, gray wolf, brown bear, striped hyena, Eurasian lynx, and golden jackal, and supports a vibrant community of birds of prey. 5. Georgia proudly holds a legacy of winemaking, steeped in over 8,000 years of tradition. According to winemakers from Kakheti, the wine capital of Georgia, there are more than 500 Georgian grape varieties cultivated in the country. Saparavi is Georgia's leading red grape variety. Bold and fruity with strong acidity, it can be made into dry or semi-sweet wine. Other popular grape varieties include Alexandruli, Raksiteli, and Matsvan Kakuri. 6. When visiting Georgia, you might want to avoid South Ossetia and Abkhazia. The regions of South Ossetia on the Russian border north of Tbilisi and Abkhazia bordering Russia in the Black Sea in the far west of Georgia, as they are not safe to visit. These are Russian-occupied regions of Georgia that have experienced high conflict in recent years. There are still car bombs and other terrorist attacks reported periodically in these two places. 7. While Georgia's cuisine is blessed with some wonderful dishes, there is one which is particularly frowned upon. Widely regarded as an excellent hangover cure and a great remedy, kashi is a soup made by boiling beef intestines, tripe, shank, as well as other organs such as kidneys. It is said that kashi was invented when the poor had to give away all their meat to the rich, being left only with the organs, heads, and hooves of the animals. 8. The beautiful national parks in Georgia, along with protected areas and nature reserves, are the best place to witness the country's lush forested landscapes with panoramic views and scenic hiking trails. Some of the best ones you can visit are Mitrala National Park, Kolkheti National Park, and Tusheti National Park. 9. A bizarre law from Georgia prohibits you from keeping a donkey in a bathtub. While it may seem outrageous in today's context, this law has an interesting backstory. It dates back to 1924, when an Arizona farmer allowed his donkey to sleep in an old bathtub. 10. The unemployment rate in Georgia fell to 18% in the first quarter of 2023 from 19.4% in the same month a year earlier, as the number of unemployed persons decreased by 10.4 thousand to 279.2 thousand. The unemployment rate for men was 20.3%, while that for women was 15.1%. 11. Kupati is a delicious and unique Georgian sausage. While the main ingredients include pork, beef, and spices, some creative locals like to add a splash of their favorite alcoholic beverage during preparation, infusing it with an extra layer of flavor. 12. Kanchalori is a traditional Georgian dance that symbolizes the country's strong spirit of competition. In this dance, shepherds, dressed in red chokchas, traditional menswear, compete with each other in the usage of daggers in performing complicated movements. One performer replaces another, and the courage and skill overflow on stage. Since Kanjari involves daggers and knives, it requires tremendous skill and practice on the part of the performers. In Georgian, there's a humorous and endearing phrase that goes, Virchlikli sakuni verkuls a rapper's usturebs, which translates to, An onion doesn't correct another onion's mistakes. This amusing saying playfully emphasizes that everyone makes mistakes, and it's not uncommon for one person to overlook their own errors while pointing out someone else's. It reminds us not to take ourselves too seriously and to find humor in our shared human imperfections. 14. 
Gvariati is known among beach lovers in Georgia as a place for diving. It is located three kilometers from the Georgian-Turkish border. Some other beaches are Mtsvanikanski, Green Cape, Gonio, Sarpi, and Shekvatili. 15. Unlike English and many other languages where the third person has a gender, the Georgian language doesn't. When Georgians want to identify a person in a conversation, they say that instead of he or she. 16. Georgians have a quirky superstition about bread. They believe placing a loaf of bread upside down on the table invites bad luck and should be avoided. 17. Another superstition is that if a dog howls at night, it is considered a sign of impending bad luck. 18. Lilliberti is a traditional form of Georgian wrestling that showcases strength and agility. Participants wear special belts called kevsers, and the goal is to grapple and pin down the opponent until one is declared the winner. For the fact, Georgia particularly celebrates wrestling a great deal. Gino Petriasvili, Vladimir Kenshiasvali, Rezvadi Natravili are some of the most famous Georgian wrestlers. 19. The Georgian language is beautiful, and communicating in the local language can actually help you connect with the Georgians. So, say Gamar Joba when you wish to greet someone, and say hello Madloba when you want to say thank you, Rag Vikvi when you want to ask someone their name. 20. Hot springs have been part of life and culture in Georgia since at least the 5th century. Bathhouses gained popularity in the 13th century and were used for much more than bathing. Georgians would come to socialize, to debate the issues of the day, and mothers would even use the baths to assess a bride's suitability for their son. Nokola Kevi Hot Sulphur Spring and Sarmi Thermal Spa are some of the most visited mineral springs in Georgia. 21. Georgia has its own unique system of timekeeping, where the day is counted from sunrise to sunset and divided into 12 hours. This system is called Sarmai Shikorobi, which means sun time in Georgia. Sarmai Shikorobi was traditionally used in rural areas of Georgia, where people were more dependent on the sun for their daily activities. The system is still used by some people in rural areas today, but it is becoming less common as people become more connected to the wider world. In Sarmi Shikrobi, the day is divided into two 12-hour periods, Sarmi, sunrise to noon, and Shikrobi, noon to sunset. The hours are counted from 1 to 12, with 1 being sunrise and 12 being sunset. For example, if sunrise is at 6 a.m., then 6 a.m. would be considered 1 Sarmi. 12 p.m. would be considered 12 Sarmi, and 6 p.m. would be considered 1 Shikrobi. 22. The cave monastery of Vardzia is a true hidden gem. Carved into the cliffs of Arusheti Mountain, these ancient caves date back to the Golden Age of Georgia and offer a fascinating glimpse into the country's monastic history. 23. Whistling indoors is considered disrespectful in Georgian culture, as it is believed to attract evil spirits and bring misfortune to the household. 24. Georgians celebrate Martvili, a tradition where they wear red ribbons on their wrist during the month of March. The belief is that this ritual will protect them from the harshness of the winter season. 25. Svaneti, a region in northwestern Georgia, is characterized by its dramatic landscapes and medieval defense towers. The towers were built by locals to protect their communities from invaders and are now a fascinating testament to the region's history. 26. Towering Mount Kazbek, Georgia is home to breathtaking landscapes and Mount Kazbek stands tall as one of its most iconic peaks. Located in the northern region of Kazbegi, this majestic mountain soars to an impressive height of 5,047 meters, 16,558 feet. 27. Church Kela, often referred to as the Georgian Snickers, is a delightful traditional sweet. This unique treat involves stringing nuts such as walnuts or hazelnuts on a thread before dipping them in a mixture of concentrated grape juice and flour. 28. Matsun is a popular Georgian yogurt. It is a mesophilic yogurt, meaning it ferments at room temperature. So there is no heating required like regular yogurt, which makes it a lot easier and convenient. The flavor is generally less sour than regular yogurt. Matsoni is a very smooth and only slightly tangy yogurt. 29. Georgians have a long and storied history of traditional polyphonic singing. Chakrulo, a UNESCO-listed Georgian polyphonic song, is an excellent example of this captivating musical heritage, where multiple voices blend harmoniously to create a mesmerizing melody. Polyphony is when two or more voices sing different things at the same time. 30. The enchanting town of Stepsminda, also known as Kazbegi, offers breathtaking views of the iconic Gurgeti Trinity Church against the backdrop of the majestic Mount Kazbek. This postcard-worthy setting has made it a favorite destination for photographers and nature enthusiasts alike. 31. Msheta, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, holds immense historical and religious significance for Georgia. It is home to several ancient churches and ruins, including the Javari Monastery and Svetskasvili Cathedral, both of which are architectural wonders. 
32. Just like the Chinese, Japanese, Estonian, and Finnish, the Georgian language does not use definite or indefinite articles, like the or a in English. Instead, the information usually expressed by articles can be conveyed through word order. Georgian has a flexible word order, using subject-object-verb, subject-verb-object, and sometimes object-subject-verb order. 33. Nestled in Mshtekta, Georgia, the Svetsgili Cathedral stands as a breathtaking testament to history. This architectural marvel, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, exudes an aura of sacred grandeur. With roots dating back to the 11th century, it holds profound religious significance for Orthodox Christians. 34. In the western part of Georgia, the climate is subtropical, while in the eastern part experiences a dry, moderate continental climate. Western Georgia is dominated but a sizable coastal lowland, with its rivers draining into the Black Sea, whereas eastern Georgia is more elevated and drains into the Caspian Sea. 35. In Georgia, you can't live on a boat for more than 30 days during the calendar year, even if just passing through the state. This one was targeted at rundown floating homes that existed on the Altamaha River. Neighbors found the houseboats ugly and were concerned about pollution. The Georgia state legislature passed a law in 1992 that living on a houseboat was illegal. 36. Georgians often engage in Choka Day, a humorous holiday when people dress in traditional Georgian costumes, including the iconic Chaka, and celebrate their cultural heritage with dance, music, and food. This day particularly celebrates the national Georgian dress, the Chaka. Chaka is a long flowing garment that is made of heavy fabric, such as wool or felt. The holiday is celebrated on February 14th. 37. The ethereal beauty of Lake Ritza, nestled in the mountains of Abkhazia, offers a peaceful escape surrounded by untouched nature and lush forests. 38. The arrival of the New Year is one of the most important celebrations in Georgia, and they celebrate it twice, once on January 1st and then on the 14th, known as Old New Year, according to the Julian calendar. January 2nd is Badoba, which means a day of luck. On this day, it's believed whatever happens is how the rest of the year will be, so everyone avoids work and stays as cheerful as possible to set a good precedent for the next 363 days. 39. The Supra is a cherished Georgian tradition, a feast that celebrates the art of toasting and heartfelt speeches. Regardless of size and type, a Supra is always led by a tamata, or toastmaster, who introduces each toast during the feast. During the meal, the tamata will propose a toast and then speak at some length about the topic. The guests raise their glasses, but do not drink. After the tamata has spoken, the toast continues, often in a generally counterclockwise direction, to the right. Eating is entirely appropriate during toasts, but talking is frowned upon. Once everyone who wishes to speak on the theme has done so, the tamata proposes a new toast, and the cycle begins again. 40. In the Georgian countryside, one can still see trees with ribbons tied to them, each ribbon standing for a wish. Before setting off on a trip, Georgians often sit on their suitcase for a few seconds to ensure a safe journey. If a knife falls off a table, Georgians believe they will have a male guest. 41. Another Georgian superstition warns against whistling near someone's home, as it is believed to bring poverty to the household. 42. Uplasitske, a fascinating ancient cave city in Georgia's Kartli region, is an extraordinary archaeological wonder. Dating back to the early Iron Age, it entices visitors with its enigmatic allure. You can visit the ceremonial hall, hall with Kassan and Queen Tamir's hall. Some halls have coffered ceilings, all carved from the surrounding soft rock, and the largest has a Romanesque arch on its facade. 43. Kachapuri is a beloved Georgian dish consisting of cheese-filled bread. It comes in different shapes and sizes, but the most common version is an oval-shaped bread boat filled with a mixture of melted cheese, eggs, and butter. This delightful combination has made it a staple in Georgian cuisine. 44. The oldest human skulls in the Caucasus, Georgia, belonging to a 1.8 million-year-old couple called Zezva and Zia, were found during an archaeological expedition in Manisi. They are seen as an important link between African and European ancestors. 45. Georgians have a different name for their country. The locals call it Sarkartvelo and call themselves Kartveli, which is most probably derives from a central region in Georgia, Kartli. There is also some debate as to where the name Georgia comes from. Is it from St. George, the patron saint of this country, or Georgi, the Greek name for agricultural tribes, or the Persian Arabic word Gorg, meaning land of wolves? We may never know for sure. 46. If you're indifferent about things that are happening around you, beware or you're very likely to be called a Tavchargouli. Tavchargouli literally means to have one's head buried and is used to describe a person who's so busy doing something that he doesn't care about what's happening around. Another funny phrase in Georgian is Sakeli Govarda, which is used to describe a situation where a person develops a bad reputation for himself. 
47. Vardzia, an ancient cave monastery complex located in southern Georgia, is a marvel of human engineering and history. With over 600 rooms carved into the cliffs, Vardzia served as a refuge, a defensive stronghold, and a place of spiritual devotion for generations of Georgians. 48. Ushguli, situated in Svaneti, is one of the highest inhabited villages in Europe and a UNESCO-listed site. The village's unique Svan tower houses had their own ancient defense mechanisms. The upper floors of the towers are exclusively used for defense, with schist stone roofs, machiolated parapets, and embrasures providing cover when throwing projectiles. 49. Georgians have a delightful and peculiar superstition related to cutting their nails at night. According to local belief, trimming nails after sunset may attract evil spirits. To avoid any spooky encounters, Georgians prefer to keep their nail clipping activities strictly reserved for daytime. 50. The mystical cave complex of Prometheus Cave, located near the city of Kutaisi, takes visitors on an otherworldly journey through its illuminated underground passageways, adorned with mesmerizing stalactites and stalagmites. 51. Foreigners in Georgia who are legally residing in the country are issued a residence card. This card serves as proof of identity and residence in Georgia, and it also allows the holder to travel freely within the country. This residence card is a biometric document, which means that it contains the holder's fingerprints and other biometric data. This data helps to prevent fraud and to ensure the security of the document. 52. In the enchanting realm of Georgian folklore, a whimsical and peculiar tradition weaves its magic on New Year's Eve. According to this belief, dreaming of a fish during the night of celebration brings a bountiful gift of good luck and prosperity for the upcoming year. As the clock strikes midnight, the veil between dreams and reality lifts, unveiling the promise of abundance to those who hold the fish in their nocturnal visions. 53. Georgia is home to a thriving wine industry, and many people enjoy collecting and storing wine from local wineries, and there have a personal wine cellar. 54. Badrijani Nzginvit stands as a popular Georgian dish, renowned for its delectable blend of flavors and textures. This delightful delicacy features thinly sliced eggplant, expertly fried to achieve a golden crispness with garlic and walnuts. 55. Signagi is a popular destination for couples eloping. The town is known for its romantic atmosphere, and it is possible to get married at any time of day or night. There are a number of different venues in Signaki where couples can get married, including the town's iconic clock tower, the Signaki Fortress, and the Alazani Valley Winery. 56. Georgians have a strong belief in Gvina wine, as a symbol of hospitality and friendship. It's common for guests to bring a bottle of wine when visiting someone's home, representing a gesture of respect and camaraderie. 57. More than 60% of homeowners in Georgia employ fertilization and weed control practices to ensure their lawns remain healthy and vibrant. It's like a well-orchestrated symphony of care, combining the right nutrients and keeping pesky weeds at bay, resulting in a stunning landscape that's the envy of the neighborhood. So, the next time you're strolling through a residential area in Georgia, take a moment to appreciate the dedication and effort that goes into maintaining these stunning home lawns. It's more than just grass. It's a testament to the love and care that Georgians have for their outdoor havens, turning the state into a picturesque garden filled with green wonders. 58. After Easter Sunday, locals visit graveyards to pay respect to their dead relatives. This custom has a sacred meaning for many Georgians. During Soviet rule, churches were closed, therefore the only place people could light a candle for their loved ones would be at graveyards. Even today, the tradition still remains. 59. In 2016, UNESCO recognized the significance of the Georgian alphabet by inscribing it on its list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity, celebrating its enduring legacy as a key element of Georgia's cultural heritage. 60. The GemFest Georgian Electronic Music Festival attracts electronic dance music enthusiasts from around the world. Held on the Black Sea coast, this multi-day extravaganza features top DJs, immersive stage designs, and a beach party atmosphere like no other. 61. Kemali, a tangy plum sauce, is a staple in Georgian cuisine. Made from sour plums, garlic, and spices, kamali adds a delightful zing to various dishes, from meat to vegetables, and is a testament to Georgia's flair for combining bold flavors. 62. Georgians have a playful sense of humor, and one quirky tradition involves celebrating Nanuba. On St. Nino's Day, which falls on January 27th, Georgians humorously pretend to celebrate the birthday of their pet dogs, showering them with extra love and treats. 63. Georgian restaurants, cafes, or bars do include a service fee on the final bill you get. The percentage varies according to the venue and is between 10 to 18%. Budget-friendly bars and cafes, though, don't have it. 
Therefore, tipping the waiter or bartender is up to you. Thanks for watching. Which country would you like to see next? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe.